All right, everyone, welcome back to All Wings Everything, and I am your cook, Spinelli. In today's video, we're gonna do sweet maple mustard wings. Now, before I get into this video, I just wanna address a couple of things. Now, I do receive a lot of comments uh, from my subscribers. I really enjoy reading the comments. I really enjoy you interacting with everybody who leaves a comment. I really, really appreciate it. I've been getting some comments where people ask me things such as, you know, why I don't fry my chicken as opposed to uh, baking it. Well, my answer to that is I try to stay away from eating fried food. So what I do is I typically bake my, my wings. Now, guys, this recipe, these recipes that I share with you guys, you could do them with fried wings or baked wings. Obviously, if you fry them, you want to do you want to uh, not bread them and just fry them uh, naked and apply the sauces. Now, the only issue you're going to run into is when you have to marinate your wings. Now, if you got to marinate them, then obviously trying to fry them after you marinate is probably not a good idea. So those particular wings you will have to uh, bake or you should bake, shall I say. So things like that, guys, I'm not here to tell you how to cook your chicken. You cook it the way you want to cook it. I'm here to show you good recipes. And in saying that, I get people who, you know, ask about cleaning the chicken. Again, guys, I'm the self-proclaimed wing king. I'm not the self-proclaimed chicken police, the wing police. That's not what I am. You clean your chicken the way you want to clean your chicken. You know, I look at some channels and they really go in about, um, people clean their chicken or if they clean their chicken, man, I'm not in, I'm not here for that. I'm here to share good wing recipes. Whether you clean your chicken or don't clean your chicken, that is your business, not mine. I'm here to share great recipes with you. And also guys, uh, I had someone ask me, um, you know, about uh, wearing cooking gear. Guys, I'm not putting on an apron. I'm not putting on a hat. I'm not putting on any gloves. Guys, this is how I cook my food at home. I'm not trying to look cool while I'm cooking. Matter of fact, I don't have to try to look cool. I'm already cool. If you hadn't noticed that all these videos, how cool I am. But, uh, <laughs> but seriously guys, I'm not into all that. I'm into sharing great recipes. So if you come here to get great wing recipes, I welcome you. I hope you stay around. I hope you subscribe. But if you come here to look, to see how cool I am, and if I got an apron on, gloves, a hat, I'm sorry, you're not gonna get that. And also, I'm not trying to, I'm not teaching how to clean chicken uh, techniques. That's not what I do. I'm, and I'm not telling you whether to fry or bake your wings. I'm just handing out great wing recipe, guys. So, with that being said, guys, let's jump into the video. I just want to clear some of those things up. I really don't want to get off into that because, as I say, I'm here to deliver great value with these wing recipes. So, back to what we're doing. We're doing sweet maple mustard wings. Guys, I'm not going to even talk about these wings because I've already spent too much time talking when we should have been in the video doing this recipe and making things happen. So with that being said, let's go. All right, everyone, here are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe. We have our Publix Green Wash Chicken. We're using Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, black pepper, spicy brown mustard, maple syrup, we're gonna use some chives and we have ourselves some salt. So these are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe, so let's move on. All right, so I've already uh, measured out our ingredients and cut and cleaned our chicken. So what we have here, we have a half a cup of maple syrup. I have one fourth cup of spicy mustard, one tablespoon of soy sauce. I have a fourth of a teaspoon of uh, Worcestershire sauce. I have a, a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and I have one tablespoon of chives. So these are the ingredients we're gonna use uh, measured out. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is season our chicken. So we're gonna take our pepper and we're gonna sprinkle it over our chicken. Next, let's take our salt, sprinkle it. Now we're gonna give this thing a good mix to combine the ingredients. All right, 
take a look and we'll move on. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, spray our grates and line our baking sheet with aluminum foil. As you guys know, this is for easy cleanup, the aluminum foil, spraying the grates. It uh, keeps your chicken from sticking on, sticking to the grates. So go ahead and do that and we'll move on. All right, so now it's time for us to place our chicken pieces onto the, our pan. So go ahead and place your chicken onto your pan, skin side down, half an inch to an inch apart. Try not to overcrowd your pan. All right, so once you finish doing that, We'll move on. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to place these bad babies in our preheated oven of 400 degrees. We're going to allow these things to cook for 60 minutes. And after the first 15 minutes, what we're going to do is we're going to baste it with the sauce. Then after the next 15 minutes, we're going to turn them over and allow them to cook on the other side. After that 15 minutes, we're going to baste them on the other side. And then we're going to allow them to finish cooking. So go ahead, and set your timer, and we'll move on. All right, so now it's time to prepare our sauce. So take your maple syrup, add it to an empty dish, grab your Worcestershire sauce, add it, add your soy sauce, and now stir in your spicy mustard. And what you want to do is you want to give that a good mix to combine the ingredients well. All right, let's take a look at it and we'll move on. All right, guys, so our first 15 minutes are up. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to turn the chicken pieces over right now because on, they've only been in for 15 minutes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a brush and use that um, sauce we just created and baste the chicken with the sauce. All right. So go ahead, baste all your chicken pieces, and we'll move on. All right, so now our uh, 30 minutes is up. It's time to flip our wings over. Allow them to cook on the other side for the remaining of the time. So go ahead, flip your wings over. And remember, we're going to let them cook for 15 minutes, and we're going to come, come back and baste the other side of these wings like we did the previous side. All right, so let's move on. All right, guys, so now... We are uh, 45 minutes into the cooking process, so it's time to baste this side of the wings with our sauce. Remember, everything you do on one side, you want to do it on the other. This gives you the maximum flavor. So go ahead, baste your wings, and once you finish that, we'll move on to the next step. All right, guys, now these wings are done. Let's pull them out. Let's take a look at them. Man, I've been waiting on these things right here. Let's get them over on the counter. This is what I'm talking about right here. Holy moly. All right, guys, what do you guys think about that? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and finish this process and let's move on to the next step. All right, guys, so now what we're gonna do now is just remove our chicken pieces from our pan into an empty bowl so we can get ready to um, sauce our wings. So go ahead, remove all your chicken pieces, put them into an empty bowl, and we'll go on to the next step. All right, guys, in this step, what I did was with the leftover uh, sauce that we had, what I did was I put it in the microwave for a minute and a half to two minutes to allow the sauce to thicken up because it was real, real, um, it's real thin. So to thicken it up, put it in the microwave for a minute and a half to two minutes, give it a quick stir, and now what we're going to do is we're going to pour it over our wings. Ooh, wee, look at that, y'all. All right. So you're going to take your lid. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little shake it, bake it to the left, shake it, bake it to the right, shake it, bake it forward, shake it, bake it backwards. And what we're, now we're going to remove our lid. And this is what we have, guys. All right. So let's move on. All right, so grab your empty plate, and now what we're going to do is we're going to um, remove our chicken pieces from our bowl to an empty plate. Guys, take a look at this. Also, guys, take your tablespoon of chives and sprinkle it over your wings. Again, you don't have to use these chives, but I like to put chives on. It gives it a, um, a nice appearance. All right, let's take a look, and we'll move on. And there you have it, guys sweet maple mustard wings take a look at this guys Ooh, we this is what i'm talking about 
Guys, these wings look delicious. What do you guys think? If you follow me in this recipe, go ahead and leave a comment right now down below. Guys, take a look at these wings. You can see the spices in the chicken. Look at that. All right, guys, this, I'm tired of talking. It's time to do a little quality control. Let me grab me one of these chicken pieces so I can make sure that it's safe for you guys to eat. Look at this piece here. And that's what I thought. Guys, these things are wonderful. You are going to love these wings. Take a look at them. Guys, as soon as this video go off, I recommend you go in your kitchen right now and you start making these wings. All right, guys, it's time for me to go. Again, guys, subscribe if you hadn't subscribed. Like the video. Comment below. I really appreciate hearing from all you guys. And until next time, I'm out. Spinelli, all wings, everything. Peace. All right, everyone. I know you guys enjoyed that video. The wings were simply, simply amazing. Guys, I really love this recipe. Sweet maple mustard wings. Guys, if you follow me in this recipe, I know you're enjoying those plate of wings right now. So guys, hit the like button if you like this video. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Hit that subscribe button, share the video, leave the comments below. If you need the ingredients, they're in the video description below. If you need the measurements, they're in the video description below. We're almost at 500, guys. So with that being said, I am Spinelli. This is All Wings Everything. And who am I? The self-proclaimed wing king. Not the self-proclaimed wing police. And I am out. Peace. Everybody stand up. Introducing... The one and only... The most anticipated and highly underrated.